In this video, I'll be showing you how to easily install OpenWebUI, an amazing self-hosted web UI that allows you to interact with large language models like Alama and OpenAI-compatible APIs. What is OpenWebUI? OpenWebUI is a feature-rich, user-friendly interface that runs entirely offline. It supports various LLM runners, including Alama and OpenAI APIs. Some of its standout features include intuitive chat GPT-like interface, local RAG integration for document interactions, web browsing capability, support for multiple models and conversations, voice input, image generation integration, and much more. Now I know what you're thinking, but PyMan, isn't setting up something like that a total pain in the butt? And you'd be right, if you didn't have me as your trusty guide. I'm going to break this down into easy to follow steps, and by the end of this video, you'll be chatting it up with your very own AI assistant like a pro. First things first, we need to talk about Alama. This little gem is the backbone of our operation, the engine that makes the whole thing run. Alama is what allows us to manage and use those fancy large language models that power ChatGPT and its cousins. Installing Alama is actually very easy, especially if you're on a Mac. Just fire up that terminal and type in brew install Alama. Boom, done. If you're on Windows or Linux, no worries. Just head over to the Alama website and grab the download from there. Once you've got Alama up and running, you can start pulling in different models to play with. The popular kit on the block right now is Llama 2 Mixtral, if you've got enough RAM to handle it. Just be warned, that thing will make your computer sound like it's about to achieve liftoff. Alright, now for the main event, Open Web UI. This bad boy is the interface that's going to make you feel like you've got your very own ChatGPT clone right at your fingertips. Open Web UI can be installed in several ways, but today we'll focus on the Docker method, which is the quickest and easiest. Docker? What the heck is that, you ask? Well, think of it like a virtual machine, but way cooler. It lets you run self-contained apps in these isolated containers on your computer. Setting up Docker can be a, a bit of a headache, I won't lie. But don't worry, I've got your back. Just follow the instructions on their website and you'll get there. It's like putting together IKEA furniture. Frustrating at first, but oh so satisfying when you finally make it work. Step 2. Run the Docker command. Once Docker is installed, open your terminal or command prompt and run the following command. This command will pull the latest OpenWebUI Docker image and start the container. Step 3. Access OpenWebUI. After the container is up and running, you can access OpenWebUI by visiting ATP local slash localhost to 3 slash in your web browser. That's it. You've successfully installed OpenWebUI and can now start exploring its amazing features. Now, I know what you're thinking, but Pyman, what if I want to chat with multiple AI assistants at once? You know, just for fun? Well, guess what? OpenWebUI has got you covered. You can add multiple models to a single chat and compare their answers side by side. It's like having a team of AI assistants at your beck and call without any of those subscription fees. But wait, there's more. With OpenWebUI, you can create your own custom prompts and model files, customize themes, and even play around with speech-to-text and text-to-speech features. And if you're feeling extra adventurous, you can even try your hand at image generation. Although, fair warning, the results can be a bit, let's just say, abstract sometimes. Look, I get it. Setting all of this up might sound like a lot of work, but trust me, it's worth it in the end. Not only do you get to have your very own chat GPT clone at your fingertips, but you also get to be part of the open source community contributing to and learning from like-minded individuals who are just as passionate about this stuff as you are. So, what are you waiting for? Fire up that terminal, follow along with my instructions, and let's get this party started. Who knows? Maybe by the end of it, you'll have your very own AI assistant writing your essays or coming up with million-dollar business ideas for you. Just don't go too crazy and accidentally create Skynet or anything, alright? We cool? Alright, let's do this.